Hi, I'm Dr. Rashmi Yogesh, Clinical Director and Consultant, Khushi Fertility and IVF Center, JP Nagar, Bangalore. AMH or anti-malarian hormone is index of female fertility is what we say. That's because there is a basic difference between men and women. In men, every 72 days, there is a fresh batch of sperms that are produced and spermatogenesis is an ongoing process. Whereas in women, there is a one-time production of oocytes when the female fetus is about 20 weeks old in her mother's womb. And after that, unfortunately, there is no fresh oocyte production thereon. And that's the reason why women are born with a fixed number of oocytes and however with the onset of menstrual cycle every month there is natural destruction of thousands of eggs and so as the age of the lady increases the ovarian reserve or the number of oocytes that remain in the lady's system also reduces and amh is an index that will measure the number of oocytes that still remain in the lady's system the higher the amh the higher or longer is a duration from menopause. So a woman who has high level of AMH usually has something called as polycystic ovaries and she would continue to menstruate for a longer period of time. On the other hand, in women who have low ovarian reserve and low AMH levels, they have lesser number of oocytes in their system and they tend to have very few years of reproductive career in their hand and they might also have an early menopause. Therefore, whenever a couple decides not to have a child, I would strongly advise the couple to first get a blood test called AMH done. This is a simple blood test, preferably done in the first few days of the menstrual cycle, does not need any fasting, will cost somewhere between 1500 to 2000 rupees and will tell us whether the lady can afford to have contraception or not. If the AMH is low, one should not delay pregnancy and should try for pregnancy as soon as possible. If the AMH is normal, yes, you can take some time off and use contraception before you decide for a pregnancy. And if the AMH is very high, then high in the sense anything more than 6, then you know that you could be having a condition called polycystic ovaries and you also would need little medical help to get pregnant faster. Therefore, AMH is something about which every common woman and every common man should know to be able to plan their reproductive career and also not to suffer with issues related to pregnancy just in case they had low AMH levels and they postponed pregnancy. Very Few men and women are actually aware of this and that's the reason why still we see couples who come to us with very low AMH levels and repent why did they ever postpone pregnancy.